evening, local self. This is Archita coming to you from the news headquarters in the brain. We've just received word from the esophagus that dinner has been consumed. We now go live to Mr. Abed on the scene. Thank you, Archita. As you can see, today our meal consists of chicken, coleslaw, and coke. That's a lot of calories, I'll tell you that. But there's this another substance in the chicken that I can't quite identify. So I'm sending a sample over to headquarters with our specialist in the brain. She should be there any minute now. Back to you, Arshita. Thanks for that, Mr. Abed. When we come back from the break, food specialist Dr. Smith will be joining us to tell us what this substance is and what it's doing in our body. Stay with us. Well, Archita, it was as I suspected. The chicken that was consumed was grilled with all kinds of antibiotics. For our viewers without a huge scientific background, could you please elaborate on what an antibiotic is? Of course. Antibiotics are drugs that control and kill bacterial growth. So why are antibiotics found in the food that we consume? Good question. The animals that we eat are given antibiotics so that they stay healthy until the time that they are killed for food. I mean, that doesn't seem problematic. How does the antibiotic affect us when we eat the meat? Although it may not seem problematic, when we eat these antibiotic-injected animals, the antibiotics enter our bodies. Consistently consuming foods with antibiotics can lead to the bacteria in our bodies becoming resistant to the antibiotic. This problem is referred to as antibiotic resistance. So could you elaborate on what antibiotic resistance is? Sure. Usually when a harmful bacteria enters the body and begins to multiply, an antibiotic drug can be used to kill the bacteria. However, if there's a random strain of the bacteria that's mutated and therefore non-responsive to the drug, the strain can multiply further. If this new strain were to infect you again, the antibiotic would be ineffective, and then you would get sick. Basically, through this evolutionary process, a new antibiotic-resistant form of the bacteria is born. So how does this concept of antibiotic resistance relate to the antibiotics that we consume through meats? Well, since we eat these meats every day, we have a constant supply of antibiotics in our bodies, and these antibiotics are always killing their respective bacteria as they invade us. In this manner, we form an environment in our bodies that promotes the growth of only the mutated, drug-resistant bacteria. Now that you have the evolved resistant bacteria strain, think about what happens with the next time you get sick and your doctor prescribes you an antibiotic. If the bacteria is resistant to the antibiotic, then the drug prescribed will no longer be effective in killing the bacteria. So what are the long-term effects of consistently consuming meats with antibiotics in them? I mean, how is antibiotic resistance harmful to us? Good question, Archita. Studies have shown that even meats that you buy and keep in your freezer for up to eight days still contain antibiotics. As an informed consumer, we need to understand the effects of antibiotics in our bodies, since they are present and persistent in the meats that we consume. If this is concerning, then you can take steps towards buying alternative regulated products such as organic meats. Hey Dr. Smith, come here, Chita. That concludes our news segment for today. We hope that you learned something new. I'm Archita. And I'm Dr. Smith. Stay healthy and know your needs.